Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi. Welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be doing my first project pan check-in. I'm pretty excited about this to kind of show you guys my progress and how things are going. I do have some notes here, so if you see me kind of staring at something, that's what I'm staring at. Just, just to be clear. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start in order of what my notes are just so that I can kind of show you guys, talk about it, things like that. The first one here I have is the Tarte Rainforest of Volume 2 um, eyeshadow palette. And here's where we are. So this one I said I wasn't going to do specific shades, some of the other ones I have. But if you notice, there's quite a big like divot in that one. I'm really working on these brown shades here as well as there's a little bit of a dip in that black shade. So I am trying to use this one up the whole palette. I just want to see how far I can get it in 2018. So yeah, that's where I am with this palette. I'm pretty impressed with how often I've used it. Um, with everything going on with Tarte, I think it is a good thing that I'm just trying to use this up and get it out of my collection. So I am excited to see how this continues to go. So yeah. The next thing here I have is my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And if you guys can see, it's about halfway done. What I've been doing because, here I'll show you the powder. It is a little darker on me right now, um, just because I am not as tan. So I've been mixing it in with my Cody Airspun powder. So that is kind of what that looks like there. It's about halfway done, if I can get it to even out. And I'm pretty proud of that because this powder has been sitting in my collection for far too long and needs to be used up. Um, just because it's, the Cody Airspun has kind of won me over, like that is my go-to kind of setting powder now, but mixing it in with this one has been working well to use this one up. The next thing here, which this one is proving to be quite the challenge, is the Milani Blush in Tea Rose. I will say this, I'm starting to flatten out that rose top there. I've been wearing this pretty consistently this month and just trying to really kind of flatten it out. I want to hit pan on this so bad. Um, this has been a blush that's just been kind of sitting in my collection, not really being used up, and I'm trying my best to use it. So with that being said, I am pretty impressed that I am starting to flatten out that rose there. Um, but this one's gonna be quite the challenge. It is quite hard to use up a blush. I might have to start using it as an eyeshadow and try different ways to use it. The next one here is my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette and the shades that I'm trying to use up here are Ethereal as well as Vivid. Now if you can see in Vivid there is a divot starting to form. This one has been my like favorite as well as look at ethereal I'm getting there I might see pan soon on ethereal um what I've been doing with both of these is I tend to wear them both together that is how I get an extremely blinding highlight but I use ethereal more around my eyes um whereas vivid is usually what's on my cheeks and things so I I'm starting to use that up and I'm super excited to see where I get so that, that, I'm pretty proud of this because it is really hard to use up a um, highlighter and doing this is kind of showing me how hard that is. <laughs> the next thing here I have is the Modern Renaissance palette. So the shades that I'm trying to pan are Golden Ochre, Warm Taupe, Rilgar, and Cypress Umber. So I will say this, the two that are the hardest for me to use for some reason are Warm Taupe and Realgar. I am just struggling to use those shades, whereas Golden Ochre, I'm going to hit pan on that one soon. I feel it. 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 So um, Cypress Umber I like to use when I'm doing browns on the outer edge to kind of deepen the outer edge of my eye. I'm going to have to try, because that one's also getting a divot in it, I'm going to have to really try and make use of these two. So that is going to be my challenge, is working those into my eye looks and things. 
The next one here is the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And as you know, I'm using the shade Subconscious, Shadow Play, and Somber to kind of work that. Lately, I've been using these two shades as my contour, and I've been really liking it, whereas... I need to use this one a little more. It's just hard for me to use this one. I think I'm going to try and use it as a bronzer the next time I kind of play around with this and kind of work it. But I'm starting to get a slight divot on this one as well as this one. I don't know why it is so hard for me to use this. I use this every day since I got it in like October of last year and it's still... There's a lot of product in this. So this one is going to be another challenge for me but I really want to use those shades up. The next thing here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Finish Foundation. Can you guys see? There's like marks. Like, I am almost out of this. I am so excited to be almost out of it. Like, I am like scraping this to get it all used up. I think I might have a couple more uses of this and then it will be going in my empties. This has been in my collection for a very long time since I think I started YouTube, um, which I would say is about six or seven months ago. Crazy. And yeah, I'm just trying to use it up. It's like, look at that. It's like, do you see all those marks? You guys, I was just, I'm so excited to use this up. Um, yeah. So probably by the next Project Pan, it'll be gone, yes! Or Project Pan update, that is. So the next thing is the Elf Blush Palette. Let me grab that here. So with this one, I, as you know, am trying to use this shade up. I have been using this, but not as often as my T Rose Blush. I've been really trying to flatten that one out. So I think I'm gonna try and alternate between the two depending on my makeup looks. I also think I might be using this in an eyeshadow tutorial that's coming up, this specific one. By the way, this is the light blush kit. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to use this one up. As you can see, my fingernail has stuck in it several times. But I would say this month I may have reached for this palette three or four times, whereas the Milani T Rose one, I have been like using that one. <laughs> So, we're going to have to work on that. The next thing here is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. There is a divot, like, right in here. But um, I like to use my fingers to put this highlighter on, too. So, that could be part of that. This one, I think, is going to be a harder product to tell how much I've used it up. Just because it is that putty consistency. But it is such a pretty highlight. Yep, I added it to my nose. But I have been using this one in conjunction with the BH Spotlight one. I tend to kind of put it on top, kind of, I I overwear highlight, I'm gonna be real. Like, I can't help it. I can put the most highlight on my face ever because I'm obsessed with wearing it. I like it, I like to be shiny, I like to look dewy. It's just fun for me. So I've been kind of pairing that with the Vivid shade. They go really well together. They're both kind of pinky shades. So yeah, there's that. This one, gonna be another challenge to use this year. But I'm making way, I'm using it, I'm trying my best, and things are kind of working out. So the next two items are these ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips in Monday and Trap. I can t honestly tell you I'm probably gonna use Trap up first. It is getting harder and harder and harder to get the product out. And I tend to reach for this one more than I reach for Monday. Um, Monday's what I'm wearing on my lips today, but if I want kind of like a more nudie, nudie color, I'll go for Trap. So I'm betting I'm gonna use this one up first. This one's gonna be a challenge because I kind of have to do a specific eye look for me to want to wear Monday. I don't know why that is, that's just kind of how it works. The final item that I'm trying to pan here is the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. Mind you, this has been going really well since I darkened my roots. But do you guys see that divot? I am probably going to hit pan on this sooner than I thought I was. Because I, I don't know if you can see it, like, I'm sorry, it's like disgusting. I use it all the time, like, look at the lid, it's just disgusting. But, I'm going to use this up. I'm super excited to use it up. I 
have actually been really liking it lately and I didn't used to. Like the reason I was wanting to use this in a project pan was because I wanted to get rid of it. But it might be something that I reach for because as I'm doing my brows now, I'm reaching more for a pomade. It's just kind of become my habit and it's easy to do, uh, especially since I kind of have my brows shaped a little more the way I want them to. Well, there is my project pan check-in. I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching and seeing my progress this month. I am pretty excited. And if you're doing project pan, let me know down below. I would love to see what you're trying to project pan this year. Thank you guys so much. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you and bye!